Hey guys, so today I want to talk about wind buffeting and windshield use on motorcycles. I've tried a few different things and never really successfully been able to get rid of the wind buffeting. If you haven't experienced wind buffeting, what it is is when you have a windshield on your bike, the wind comes in at a certain angle and it causes a lot of turbulence right around your head. So the wind's coming up, hitting your helmet, and it's giving you sort of a bobblehead feeling. You feel your head just kind of shaking. People that don't wear helmets are often do not experience buffeting, and it's because it does have a lot to do with the helmet that you're wearing. If you get wind buffeting really bad, it could be an indication that your helmet is not fitting very well, it may be too loose. And if you wear prescription eyeglasses, it makes it even worse. And I, I wear contacts sometimes, it definitely helps reduce the wind buffeting. So on my Vulcan S, I tried the factory windshield and even tried a aftermarket windshield that was adjustable. And no matter how I adjusted the height, the angle, anything, the buffeting was just absolutely terrible. Just could not get rid of it. So on the Heritage Softail, you have the same thing, and it's, I think it's even worse. So really one of the things that I haven't tried that I kind of want to try is fork deflectors. With a windshield that's the correct height and the correct size and everything, typically the wind is going to only hit you right on the top of the helmet. But the actual wind buffeting in itself is supposedly caused by air coming up under the windshield. And so the idea with fork deflectors is they sit on the side of the fork, they deflect that air away so it goes around you and the bike. Without those deflectors, the air comes up and you can feel it coming straight up in front and along the side of the tank. So that really got me thinking that it's probably worth trying fork deflectors. I'm going to put those on soon. I did a before video where I have a chin mounted GoPro on my helmet. I took, turned the image stabilization off, uh, got up to 60, 65 miles an hour with the windshield on. And you can kind of see in the video, you, you can see this shake. So being able to see that on video without the fork deflectors, I want to put the fork deflectors on and then run it again and see if even on camera you can notice a reduced amount. So these are the fork deflectors. These are straight from Harley Davidson. These are specific to the soft tail certain years. Um, they're not, these fork deflectors are not available for every type of bike or every model. If I flip this over, here on the other side you can see basically the fork deflector is going to mount right behind the turn signals on the side of the fork there. I haven't been really keen on trying these things before because I just don't like the look of them. Um, they look kind of ungainly and awkward to me. We'll see how difficult they are to put on and take off and it may be the sort of thing where I put them on you know, as the weather gets cooler and I put my windshield on and then as the weather warms up I could take them off and not need the windshield anymore. So we'll see how that goes. But first of all I got to get these things installed and see if they even work. So I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel if you find this kind of thing useful. I cover pretty much anything relating to motorcycles and when you subscribe it greatly supports my channel and I'd certainly appreciate it. So I got the fork deflectors on, it's actually the next morning, um, had to take a break. And so they're very easy to get on. I don't think they'll take more than 10 minutes to take off and put back on, but they do a really, really fantastic job. Uh, exactly what they say they're gonna do. The buffeting is cut down to pretty much nothing. So this is obviously with the fork deflectors on, you can see them here right behind the turn signals. Uh, nice pretty chrome, one more thing to try to keep clean I guess. Uh, they'll probably catch a lot of bugs too I'm sure. Definitely a huge improvement here. There's hardly any buffeting at least all the way up to 70 miles an hour. The only thing that I'm not real happy with is they honestly are a bit fugly so take a look here. Not the sort of thing I want on there all the time, but the way I look at it is it extends the riding season. It allows me to ride in a lot cooler weather than I ordinarily would. First time I've been able to ride with a windshield on comfortably. So if you get wind buffeting, make sure you have a helmet that fits really well, make sure it's tight enough. 
if you wear prescription glasses, expect that it's going to be kind of amplified a bit. So yeah, if your model of bike has Ford deflectors available, I highly recommend them. Definitely does the trick. So let us know in the comments if you experience wind buffeting, if you've tried anything to solve it, and if you try fork deflectors, let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.